Let's uh, get started. Okay, so Richard Hanania, um, who, I, just the context, I praised for a long time. I thought his, uh, some of his essays were excellent and, and fresh and, and, and good perspective. I think he's super smart. Uh, and then uh, the Huffington Post had the story where they revealed that he had been a, a, a you know, real racist, white supremacist, had, had uh, written under a pseudonym and... and uh, written some horrible things about uh, blacks, about uh, minorities generally, and about women, and just the typical, and, and he did that from 2008, I think, until 2012, um, and uh, then went on, got a PhD, and so on, and, and of course now is a very successful uh, tw uh, tweeter and, uh, and sub-stacker, and, and I have a feeling this crisis, this whole thing is gonna actually increase um, uh, his uh, following and his uh, support and his visibility. So I think this is actually going to play well for him. Um, anyway, they revealed that. Two days later, uh, he uh, wrote this article, Why I Used to Suck and Hopefully No Longer Do. Uh, and, uh, and, he, and he writes, My Road to Small L Liberalism. And liberalism here is more of a classical liberalism than a, a left-wing liberalism, I think. So, uh, so, you know, good for him for admitting that he sucked. That's a, a great step forward and, and an important one. Uh, and, uh, and, I, and I think it takes, it takes, well, he has no choice at this point. So I, I, I think it's good that he wrote it. I get, I, it's good that he acknowledged, he, he acknowledges here that the views he held back then were, were wrong and bad and uh, and offensive, and that uh, they sucked, and, and uh, that he's not over them. And he gives an example, you know, which I gave um, when I did, when I talked about him on Sunday. You know, he's pro-immigration, he's pro-diversity, uh, uh, diversity of just peoples. Uh, he has, uh, he, you know, he used to be, uh, when he was young and, and, and a racist, he was a, a jerk and didn't get along with women. He's not married. He's uh, you know he's he's got a life and uh, he's he's written a lot uh, from the perspective that of uh, uh, you know used to think that women are, are you know disastrous for politics and now he thinks no you, you know that, that that that's not quite true and uh, and uh, you know uh, and he and he recites all the good stuff like the, the fact that he's so. A, a positive about uh, about um, about immigration, but also about generally, I'd say about what you'd call the the liberal world, the the the, the democratic, free world, the Western world. Uh, he says he's learned a huge amount from Stephen Pinker's books, uh, both on violence and on uh, kind of the the um, uh, you know the the value of what you'd call. Uh, Relatively free markets, relatively free markets that we have today. Kind of the mixed economy, the value of the mixed economy. And that he considers himself today a, a, a classical liberal. So all good uh, for what it is. I still have two qualms with him and, and, and two problems. And I don't know how this is going to play out. I don't know how, how serious this is. Uh, you know, I still respect the good stuff that he's written. And I respect the fact that he's backed off the bad stuff. But there, I think there are two concerns that I have that, that are directly related. And the first is that his condemnation of himself, this idea that, um, that he sucked, is a little too... Um, a little too soft, a little too nice... Right. What does it mean that he sucked? I mean, is there full acknowledgement of the horror and the evil that racism and the kind of views that he held about human beings, men and women, really mean? The, the kind of history that, that is manifest from racism the kind and, 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 uh, and, and this kind of view of women the, 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 the actual existential consequences of these views these are evil views about as evil as it gets and yeah he was a confused kid with psychological problems there were a lot of confused kids with psychological problems that don't go that route 
And it, it, it really needs to be a lot more morally condemnatory, in my view, of himself. You can't just say, whoops, sorry, screwed up, over something like this. And you're an intellectual. So your realm is the realm of ideas. The realm of politics, the realm of uh, uh, deeper ideas, particularly politics, though. That's what he does. And, and you held ideas that are, uh, you know, reprehensible, the, 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 the evil, the disgusting, the horrific. And there has to be something that has a little bit more passion and oomph to it than uh, I used to suck. I don't suck anymore, believe me. So there's a little bit of, of him being removed from his past that I don't, you know, I'm not saying he's lying. I, I don't think he is. I, I, think, I think this is true, and, and it, for now, I'll take him at his word. Uh, he's doing very well for himself, so he has a strong incentive not to veer off the path that he's on. But I, I am, I'm going to watch him. I'm going to be careful. I'm not just going to say, okay, back to retweeting everything he says, back to, you know, just treating him like... I thought he a real star. Not going to happen. Not going to happen. And the real, the real, um, you know, the real red flag for me, and I mentioned this on Sunday, but there's no, he has no, um, he has no sense of this. He has no, right? It, 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 so he links to this article again. And this is, he links to this article. And this is an article where, I don't know if it's real or not, whether it's a story, real story, a potential story, it doesn't matter. But where he goes with uh, this guy, Unz, U-N-C, U-T-Z, Unz. And um, they go and they confront a bunch of racists and Unz basically shows them how stupid their position is. And how ridiculous their position is. And he, and, he, and he lists this as, see, I'm not a racist anymore. I'm, in a sense, on Ud's side. But this guy, Ron Ernst, is a explicit, uncompromising Unz, a U-N-T-Z, um, anti-Semite. Kind of Holocaust denier. Kind of, yeah, we should, you know, Hitler's being treated maybe a little unjustly, we should really consider it. He didn't know about the extermination of Jews. That wasn't his intention. And, and we should really rethink Hitler and, and what he represents. And this isn't really Germany's fault. If you're really repenting, if you're really saying, I'm not a racist anymore, I really think racism is abhorrent, I really think it's horrible, Those are, I was dumb, I, I, I sucked when I was young, and, and why would you then say, okay, I'm not a racist, but I'm still an anti-Semite? Or I'm saying, I tolerate anti-Semites. I tolerate racists, but I'm not a racist. I don't know. You don't hang out with a full fl and, and say nice things about a full-fledged anti-Semite as you're trying to prove to the world that you are now repudiating completely Thoroughly, unequivocally, racism and, and, and your, these old views that you had. So this und stuff really bugs me. And, uh, you know, it's, it's a question of sanction. And that's what's mo missing here. It's, it's like we should morally judge people. And we should morally judge ourselves. And when you discover that you were immoral in the past which can happen to all of us, any of us, then that requires a certain judgment, a certain severity, depending on how immoral you are. This is pretty big. And he's not morally judging himself. He's not morally judging uns. So what is he exactly? What, what, what are we talking about? What is he retracting? What is he repenting? What is this new? He's a classical liberal, but he still kind of tolerates anti-Semites when they're interesting. Like he keeps saying Unz is interesting. By the way, in the end of the essay, Unz suggests 
that, uh, that COVID was a, a, an intentional lab leak in the United States by the U.S. government. And, and you know, um, Richard's response to that was like, yeah, okay, whatever, that's ridiculous. But there's no judgment. Anyway, so, again, um, I like the material he writes. I'll keep on reading it. Um, I'm going to be retweeting him a lot less. I am going to watch what he does and watch what he says with a little suspicion. Um, and I am going to... Um, I'm going to watch the nuance, right? I, I mentioned last time IQ, I got into huge trouble. Everybody commented on how ignorant I am about IQ, um, but uh, as usual. But, uh, you know, it's things like that, how he talks about these things, what he actually says about these things. I'm going to pay attention to those, th to those. I'm not just giving him a blank check. He doesn't get a blank check anyway for me, not that he cares, but uh, for me. And uh, we're going to watch him. We're going to watch him.